Dear students, in this video lecture of software engineering, we will discuss about object modeling technique. We will discuss about object model, dynamic model, functional model, and we will discuss about object model in detail in this video. We will discuss about classes, objects, links, and associations. What is object modeling technique? Object modeling technique is also called as OMT. OMT is an object-oriented software development methodology given by James Rumbach and his team. This methodology describes a method for analysis, design, and implementation of system using object-oriented technique. It is a fast, intuitive approach for identifying and modeling all objects making up a system. The OMT consists of three related but different viewpoints, each capturing, each capturing important aspects of the system, that is the static, dynamic and functional behavior of the system. These are described by object model, dynamic model and functional model of the OMT. What are these models? Object model. Object, this model is used for describing the objects in the system and their relationship among each other in the system. This model observes all the objects as static and does not pay any attention to the dynamic nature. Dynamic model. It describes the interaction among the objects and information flow in the system. The dynamic model shows the time-dependent behavior of the system and objects in it. Dynamic model depicts the dynamic aspects of the system. And the functional model, the data transformation in the system are described by the functional model. This describes the flow of data and the change. And in this lecture, we will discuss about object model in detail. This model is used for describing the objects in the system and their relationship among each other in the system. This describes the structure of objects in the system. The object model is represented graphically using the object diagrams. And there are two types of diagrams used in object model of OMT. These are the class diagrams and instance diagrams. First, we will discuss about classes and objects. Classes, a class is a collection of things or concepts that have same characteristics. Each of these things or concepts is called an object. A class describes the collection of similar objects. It is a template where certain basic characteristics of set of objects are defined. A class defines the attributes and the operations of objects of that type. Attribute are the named slots of data values that belong to that class. Operations represent the services that the object can request to affect the behavior of the object or system itself. In OMT, classes are represented by a rectangular box which may be divided into three parts or three sections as shown in the figure. The top part contains the name of the class written in bold and the middle portion of the rectangular box contains the list of attributes and the bottom part or the or third part of the, of the rectangle con uh, contains a list of operations. We can show the class without the attributes and operations. Figure shows the class person and uh, the rectangular box is drawn and the name of the class is written in the top, uh, top, uh, um, top section of the rectangle. Attributes of the uh, class person are name, address and phone along with their data types are written in the second part of the rectangle. Operations are change name change address and change phone are represented in the third part of the class box. This is another example of a class book. 
figure shows the class book and it is represented by a rectangle. The attributes of the book are title, author, publisher along with their data types are shown in the second part of the class box and operations on the book are open, close, read are represented in third part of the rectangle. And this is another example of a class window in which uh, in the name of the class is written in the first part of the class box and the attributes of window are xmin, ymin, xmax and ymax along with their data types are written in the second part of the class box and operations on the window are draw, cut, erase and move. These are the, uh, written in the third part of the class box. In OMT, the object is represented by a rectangular box with rounded corners. In OMT, object is the instance of an object class. The box may or may not be divided in regions. Object instances can be shown in the, inst uh, in the as a instance diagrams. These are the three figures in which uh, in the first figure, uh, the figure shows uh, three instances of a class book. Uh, physics, chemistry and mathematics are the uh, objects of class book and the name of the class uh, that is book is written in the parenthesis in bold. The second figure shows the three instances of class person and uh, figure at the bottom shows the three instances of class window. And the links and, as, and now we will discuss about links and associations. Link is a physical or conceptual connection between the object instances. In OMT, link is represented by a line labeled with its name as shown in the figure. Here, uh, some examples are uh, considered. In the first figure, Mayank, it is shown that Mayank flies Jaguar. So, flies, a link, flies is a link between object instance Mayank of class person and object instance Jaguar of class airplane. The person and airplane are the name of the classes and written, are written in the parenthesis. And in the second figure, Karthik reads physics. Here reads is a link between object instance Karthik of class person and object instance physics of class book. Or you can say link, uh, link is the connection between the objects. Link is the connection between the objects. Next is associations. Association describes the groups of links with common structure and common semantics between two or more classes or you can say it is a connection between two, two classes. Association is represented by a line labeled with association name. In case of the binary association, the name is tra uh, traversed in particular direction that is uh, from left to right but the binary association can be tra traversed in either direction. For example, pilot flies airplane or airplane is flown by pilot. So binary association means there is a link between, uh, the, there is a link or association between uh, two classes, two different classes. Multiplicity. Multipl uh, multiplicity in associations. Multiplicity in association specifies that how many objects participate in relationship. It is generally represented as one or many. In association, generally the movement is in the, both the directions of relationship. But to show the movement in one particular direction, the arrow can be marked. There are uh, some special terminators to indicate certain common multiplicity values. For example, line without any ball indicates one to one association. Hollow ball indicates 0 or 1 association. Solid ball indicates 0, 1 or more. 
or means many. Numbers written on solid balls such as 1, 2 or 5 indicates 1 or 2 or 5. Numbers written on solid ball as 1 plus indicates 1 or more, 2 plus indicates 2 or more. Association. Uh, next, we will discuss about uh, types of association. Association can be unary, binary, ternary or anary. Unary association is an association between same class or you can say relationship between the same class. The first figure shows unary association and the examples of uh, unary association means person teaches person, person marries person are the examples of unary association where uh, association is between the same class and binary association is the association between two different classes. The second figure shows the binary association and uh, for example um, the binary association includes person sits on chair. Person and chair are the two different classes and sits on is the association name of the association and that is the example of binary association. Now we will discuss uh, binary association with multiplicity. Binary association is the association between two different classes. For example, person sits on chair. Here one person sit on one chair. So multiplicity is one to one. And uh, it is shown in the uh, first figure. The one to one association is shown in the first figure. The second example is uh, supplier supplies parts. So that is shown in the second figure. So, so one uh, supplier can supply many parts and one part can be supplied by many suppliers. So multiplicity is many to many. Ma and uh, for, the ma uh, for many to many multiplicity, the, um, the solid ball is used in, on both sides, on the supplier side as well as on the uh, part side. So many is represented by solid ball. Third example is person possesses passport. The person can have uh, one passport or no passport or one passport can be with one person. So multiplicity of this uh, association is one to optional and for the optional multi, uh, for the optional uh, hollow ball is used. Then next is a ternary association. Ternary association is the association between three different classes. In similar way, an array association is association between n classes. OMT symbol for ternary or n array association is a diamond box or diamond symbol connected to related classes. Ternary association is shown in the figure. And uh, example of ternary association is uh, um, shown in the second figure where programmers develops, develops project in some programming language. Here uh, they, um, there are three classes. Programmer is an, one class, project is another class and uh, language is another class. So association between uh, these three classes that is project, language and programmer is connected by the diamond symbol as shown in the second figure. Then uh, we will discuss about ternary association with multiplicity. Here the same example is considered where programmer is one class, project is another class and language is another class. Programmer develops project in programming language. The association between these three classes that is project, language and programmer is connected by a diamond symbol. But uh, here uh, the multiplicity symbol is used that is one programmer which means that one programmer can be engaged between one or more projects and can know one or more languages. Similarly, one project can be developed by many programmers in one or more languages. So this association is, is represented with multiplicity symbol uh, as shown in the figure. For the multiplicity symbol, a solid ball is uh, shown in um, in the figure. 
next example uh, ternary association and uh, is uh, uh, instance diagram the first uh, figure shows the uh, association between the three classes that is project uh, language and programmer means the programmer develops uh, develops project in some programming language so first figure uh, is shows the uh, first figure shows the ternary association between the three classes and second figure sh uh, shows the instance diagram um, and for the for the above um, class diagram instance diagram is shown in the second figure this instance diagram shows that ram is object of class programmer and is involved in developing accounting which is the object of um, class project in the uh, in some pro in, in uh, programming language cobol uh, cobol is object of class language in this way the instance diagram is shown for the um, first figure which is the class diagram and for that class diagram instance diagram is shown in the second figure students if you have not seen the previous videos of this channel then please see all the previous videos in the playlist of this channel